Welcome to Build Edge. I am Keymark Product Manager Aaron Dietzen, and I want to give you a walkthrough of the Build Edge Plan user interface. I'm going to hop into SketchUp here. When Build Edge is initially installed, the toolbar that is displayed is this little toolbar with a single button on it, and it's a little Build Edge icon. Clicking on that icon will bring up the Build Edge UI. That's this window right here. Uh, a lot of times when people first install software they have a hard time tracking this down because it's so small. You can also bring up the UI by clicking up on the plugins menu and pulling out or clicking on build edge plan to start this. Uh, so if that toolbar ever disappears you can get to it that way also. All the commands and properties for build edge input and editing are present inside this toolbar. Uh, the toolbar is actually a window so it can be resized, moved around, it can't be docked, but I can put it onto a second monitor, left, right, wherever I need to, to put that. The, the uh, window itself is laid out to make it as simple as possible to use Build Edge Plan. At the top are my modes. I have a wall mode, a door window mode, floor mode, and then a roof mode. Inside each of the modes is a toolbar. The toolbar are the tools to uh, input or edit that entity. So in walls I have a uh, draw command and then an auto outline. The bulk of the screen is the current entity properties. When I'm drawing a new entity, this is what that new entity is going to consist of. If I'm editing an existing entity, these are the properties for that existing entity. Uh, down at the bottom are the little banner there for Build Edge. In this case it will take you right to our website buildedge.com. That does change occasionally, so keep an eye on there for uh, information about Build Edge and Build Edge products. Below that is a commit to SketchUp button. It's grayed out right now. I don't have anything to commit to SketchUp. And then a little help icon that will take you into our online help. Uh, just to show you how this works, I'm just going to draw a wall real quick because I have 8 inches wide, 8 foot tall. That means the wall I draw is going to have those properties. Once an entity is created, if I select on it, the properties for this particular item are displayed up here. Making a change to that, say make it a three inch or six inch rather than eight inch wide wall, I get this button that says apply changes. That's the same functionality through all the entities in Build Edge. Clicking apply changes will then update the selected item. I'm just going to delete that. So to continue walking through here, the door window mode does have a toolbar. I can add, select, move, and delete and then properties about the window or door I want to place or edit. Floors and roofs are a little bit different. They're not single entities that I can just grab and manipulate. They actually consist of a polygon, a series of lines that defines the boundary. So when I look at floors or roofs, I actually have a lot more commands. Uh, the big one right here is edit outline on both of them. That means I'm going to actually open and edit the geometry of the roof or floor. Uh, the other commands in there, I do have the ability to draw a line. Uh, I can use pick line to pick a wall rather than draw the line. Auto outline, and then again select, move, delete. If I am manipulating whether I'm drawing or editing an existing roof or floor, once I've made the changes I need to, ch to make, I do have to either save or abandon those changes. So it's not quite the same as a wall where I can just Manipulate, make a change and then hit apply. I actually am changing a whole series of lines so I do have to tell it that I'm done when I'm in that edit mode. Uh, that is about it for the UI. Like I said we try to keep it real simple. If you do have questions or comments do please let us know. You can either email us at buildedgekeymark.com or visit us at buildedge.com. Thank you.